What's going on everybody? LK here, back at it again with another video, and today, of course, it is time to talk about Guilty Gear Strive. We're not calling it 2020 anymore. So, I did not go to Arc Revo. <laughs> That's where we start this. I did not go to Arc Revo. Uh, I know people have been asking for my opinion on the game, uh, because I did play Guilty Gear Exert very, very heavily, tournament player for... Uh, pretty long time. I've been playing Guilty Gear for about five years, around five, uh, literally five years actually at this point. Uh, of course, Exert was when I started playing Guilty Gear really, really, really hardcore, but uh, I learned how to play Guilty Gear by studying older versions because my character existed in prior versions, so it helped me a lot when I was starting. Now, the thing about Guilty Gear, and let's get this sick new match footage on, uh, the thing about Guilty Gear is a lot of people are really concerned with does the game feel like a Guilty Gear game and there's been talks on Twitter, some people are super pessimistic, some people after playing are much more optimistic which makes me feel a lot better. Uh, I've talked about this on stream, i talked about it on Twitter, uh, I've even talked about it a little bit on this channel, but now that people have gotten to play the game and they have more impressions, I feel like I can offer a little bit more. Um, the game is really, 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 really pretty. I That is undeniable. Like I said, the UI is kind of cruddy. The changes they're making to the game... One, of course, like I said, I didn't actually play the game at all. All I know is what people have said and their opinions. No matter what you feel about what devs say when new games are coming out, it's really hard to actually say how you feel until you touch the game. and. I really implore people who are not feeling great about what they say about GG Strive to just wait until you get your hands on the game to make a final, final, final opinion. It's not chilling, it's just being reasonable, honestly. I think, And I think another thing about it is that since it's Guilty Gear, uh, when you think about Guilty Gear as a whole, if you play Arxis games, you're used to, you know, like... You play a game for a couple years, they come out with something new, you move on to that, and you're just used to it. So, say in my case, I played BBCT, BBCS, 1, 2, Extend, then Persona came out, and no one played Blaze Blue until BB Chrono Phantasma came out, and then we went to that, and it goes on and on and on. But GG players, like, Exert is being played, and people still play Plus R, for example. GG players, there are groups of people who play let's say, all Arxis Fighters and GG, and there are groups of people who just play Guilty Gear. So if you are a person who just plays Guilty Gear, that means you are basically still playing a game that's been made in 2001, because since XX, there's basically been just updates to XX, then in 2014, Exerd, and now Strive. So Strive is the first game, basically the fourth game, right? The first game they've made in a while. They mostly just make updates to Guilty Gear. A lot of people talk about, like, oh, they're taking away all the complexity and death out of Guilty Gear, and yeah, maybe, like, I don't know. You can say stuff based on system. There's stuff about the system that I heard that I don't like. For example, that air, like, when you block moves in the air, you don't get hit. When you block ground moves in the air, you don't get hit. I don't like that, right? For example, I don't like that. When you dash, I actually... It actually was found out this weekend that you do have to actually use dash break, which is, I think, a very positive thing. I like penalties being applied to bad movement. I think that is good. But I don't know because I haven't played the game. The thing about XX is, so if you're going to say like, oh they're stripping out all the complexity, you don't know until you play it and you can say whatever you want about XX being like a literal god game or whatever, but when XX came out, it didn't look like a good game. It didn't look like a good game because people didn't know what to play. People didn't know what to do. Like, it's the players that make Guilty Gear good. That's the real thing that makes Guilty Gear good. Guilty Gear, in my opinion, overall, is not that great of a game overall. The thing that makes Guilty Gear good is the character designs are good. People can do what they want, which is good. People can express themselves well because you don't always get combos off all your hits. So there are branching choices you have to make. And pe different people will make different choices in the same position. That is a good thing. The players make the game good. So it's going to be on us through playing the game to make the game good. Like, 
The game is just not good by default. There's a lot of bad stuff about Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is not a perfect game. So, all you, if you're just saying that Guilty Gear is complex without really knowing why the game is even that way, why people make the choices they make and stuff like that, like, I don't think it's really fair, but at the same time, I kind of get you too, because the feel is going to matter a lot. The feel is going to matter a lot, a lot, a lot. That's where the whole, this game is stupid from a scrub, right? Like, like, like someone who's just starting. Let's not use scrub. Scrub's disrespectful in 2019. If a new player says a game is stupid, you think it's, let's say, unformed, right? But if someone plays a game for like a year, like, man, this game is stupid, it's from a much more informed place, even though, you know, it's the same statement. I can't really say much again. Can't really say much. I haven't played the game, and the character I want is not in the game yet. We have a, a new character, Faust. Cool, I guess. Like, I'm not hyped for him. Really, I only played Guilty Gear for Amelia, so uh, I'm not really hyped for him. That's how character-driven the game is. Like, I'm not excited when they add new characters to the game that aren't the character that I play. Like, straight up. That's how character-driven the game is. So, just wait until people get to try it. It seems like the next time people get to play it will be a closed beta in the spring. Barring, like, let's say tournaments have alpha builds of uh, Guilty Gear or whatever. We will get to play it again in spring. So, trust the people who have been there and played the game. Trust their opinions about how it feels. Trust their opinions uh, on, like, if it's good, bad, or whatever. And just go from there. Wait until you get to try the game. I think the game looks cool. I play pretty much every fighting game on release for at least a little bit, so I'm gonna try it at least for a little bit. And let's just go into 2020, happy that we're getting a new game. If you wanna play the same game, and specifically because it's Guilty Gear, you can just literally keep on playing Exert, because people still play plus R. So nothing is stopping you from playing Exert forever, if you want. Nothing is stopping you, especially in GG. I'm sure there are people who think this game is fucking trash, and they'll just play Exert 2.1. Forever, you have that choice. That's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments or whatever, let me know if you think I'm dumb. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.